All right, Mr. Iago, let's do it. Ooh, it's pretty good. Let's turn three plow. Turn three plow, turn four slaver. Seems not bad to me. Although, I don't know what we're gonna do with the slaver if he has no lands in play. Just save it, I guess. That's funny, they use the Mirrodin one rather than the Scars of Mirrodin one. Ooh. All right. Not the matchup I was hoping for. This just means that we get to bring in Worship and Maze of Ith, though, and uh, maybe a few other cards. And I think right now I need to answer whether or not I'm going to block here. Yeah, okay, maybe I don't have to answer, but I was going to take it. Which I was really hoping this was a card he didn't have. That was the best card to have there. Yeah, this matchup's not even that bad, but the hand we kept was not too exciting for this matchup. All of a sudden, we're back in it. Yeah, if we had to pass there with an empty board, we might have been in some trouble. Let's see, I'm trying to think of... I know there's Ram Gang. The, he probably has... Um, not sure what else I saw of importance that is I saw the goblin guide so he probably has the goblin guide oh wow so he has the taiga and he has the vortex hmm Didn't, I don't think I saw the Vortex. I'm not sure, though. Doesn't really matter, I suppose. So we have to, we have to try and race, which I suppose is not actually going to be that hard, considering our hand and board position. But, and again, he is mono-red. Or, uh, you know, close. And we are just green-white. And we can can no longer gain life. We have we have Gta Kitchen Finks, and see we don't have the slime, so we can't destroy this either. Ah, uh, the Slith Firewalker. Yeah, that one was a pretty late one. Um. Yeah, I gotta block here so that I can block this guy next turn. We're already at nine. I don't, I don't think we can. Oh, I missed my attack. Whoops. Uh, that point actually was really relevant, but but I'm not sure it's going to matter either way. Yeah, that, that was a pretty important point, though. Really? Really? I guess he's possibly preparing for mind slaver yeah that's possible oh yeah I also have Elspeth to gain life um, for future games of course Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. He's at nine? Wow, that point cost me the game. Uh, that is, if I if I lose. I think I'm going to lose, actually. But And that point is going to cost me the game. Wow. How unfortunate. Because I can deal him six points right now. I can attack for one... To or no, wait. Six points? Oh, no, no. We have Exaxi still. Okay. Whew. It was a pretty good rip, too. We had to rip that. What?
what a mind slaver. Whew. Exact damage. That'll teach him to play with zombie cutthroat. That guy's pretty cutthroat. Alright, we are bringing in ooze, slime, worship, uh, maze of ith. We are cutting. Uh, big Garuk, plow under. Um, I think Mentor of the Meek for being too slow. Wow, this matchup is actually really good. Uh, and then... Hmm... I think Mind Slaver. Ew. Can I just keep this because it has a Worship though? Um, we, we could run that. Like, how does he beat Worship plus tokens? Well, there was a Fire Spout in the draft, but I... It's not something he's picking very highly. Um... Yeah, we'll keep this. Very loose, but I'm pretty sure he just can't beat this. No one drop, very very good sign, but it probably means he has to have Sleth Firewalker. Wow, no two drop. All right, he's as loose as we are apparently. Wow, couldn't even cast Glory Santa on this turn. So it's gonna be turn five where I can no longer lose. Oh no, I have to survive. I'm gonna be at five at the highest. Oh. Couldn't just draw a spell fast enough to <laughs> to cast it like this. Any turn before this turn. So, it's, it's still not too likely that he actually has me dead. <laughs> Alright. Good game. Alright, this guy has Shroud. That'd be a sweet combo with Worship, but uh, I'm pretty sure we don't need that. Maybe I should have boarded in Loam Lion. In the first place, probably still bring it in now for another one of these uh, expensive cards. Um. Well, actually, you know what? He showed us that dragon, so we could cut spectral. Amiria is much better than spectral against the dragon. And uh, this. Yeah, I don't think I, I, don't, I don't think I'm cutting spectral for game two, even though I would want the loam line, especially on the draw. But I might have figured out something to cut if I had thought about it. Ah, uh, this again. This is this is worse. Actually, so much worse. Yeah, I have to mulligan that. On the draw, I don't even know. Might be too slow, but. Okay, no one drop is very good for us. And now, at this point, we could actually draw anything. And we're pretty much good. Well, not, not game ending, but, you know, we can cast anything. Except for Genesis Wave. What is the lowest number I would cast that for? Probably four. Yeah. 
Uh, that sucks. That really sucks. Yeah, so much for casting anything. We couldn't even cast this one anyway. <laughs> but that's kind of funny. Ooh, synergy. Alrighty then. And we're gonna attack. It's very awkward for us, but because I want I want a double block. But uh, if I draw Zenith or Zenith or Titan or Genesis Wave, then I need to, I need to have six mana. And also, you know, double blocking just plays into any burn spell. So okay. Hmm. Starting to think that maybe I was a planes short to begin with. Oh my god, we're getting destroyed. Sick. Eh. Hmm. Might have been too greedy game too. No, not really. I think I that was correct. We drew pretty badly this game. Like Kitchen Finks just Kitchen Finks any turn of this game would have been pretty good. And then obviously for the same reason Zenith would have been You got it. Well, uh, that was round one. Very big disappointment.